Welcome to your 34th Java tutorial. Today we're going to look at the area of memory known as the heap. Now the full name is the garbage collectible heap, but we're just going to call it the heap. Now every time you create an object, no matter what, it always is put in the heap. And so if you create a hundred instances of your class, they will all end up on the heap where they will do whatever work it is they have to do. Now the good thing is Java manages all that memory allocation for you. You really don't have to do a thing. But you still need to have a working understanding of how the garbage collector works. Because eventually we'll get into processes and so it's critical to know how the heap works and also in terms of the life and death of objects on the heap. That is when an object is no longer being used it is purged from the heap. And that frees up space so that it can be reused by later objects. And so let's take a look at it right here in some of this code that I've created. So I created a class called, you guessed it, garbage. Now there's the heap right out there, and let's go ahead and create our first object from this class. Now keep in mind, since we haven't created any objects yet, there's nothing on the heap, so the heap is empty. So let's go ahead and create our new object, and we'll just call this obj1. And there you see our OBJ1 is created on the heap. And let's just go ahead and create another object. And there you see we have OBJ2 on the heap as well. Now you will remember in episode 30 I talked about object reference variables. And remember I said that this is the object reference variable and this refers to the object on the heap. That is, it refers to the memory of where the object is located. That's the value. Now what we say here is that we have two active references. This object variable reference refers to, to this object and obj2 refers to this object on the memory. So we have two active references that are pointing to objects on the heap. And we would also say that we have two reachable objects because both are reachable because both are being referenced. Now, what happens if we change some values here? Let's go ahead and assign the value of obj2 to obj1. So let's go ahead and say obj1 now equals obj2. Now what's happened is this object right here is no longer being referenced. Both of these two object reference variables are now pointing to this object in the memory. So we would say now that we still have two active references, but we only now have one reachable object and we have one abandoned object. And since this object in memory is no longer referenced, this is a target for deletion. And you can see there, it went away, and that object is, as we say, toast. Now, if we created another object, like an object three, then that would appear here on the heap. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this down here. And we'll say this is object three. And you can see now an object is created on the heap. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial. I hope you guys now have a good working understanding of how the heap works.